Hello and welcome to week number three of the CSHO, where we are going to be trying out a new format here. And I think it's a little bit better. I enjoy it. It's more digestible. We're going to get through a little bit quicker. And yeah, let's jump into it. We get all four games in one week now. Here are the current standings for the CSHL. And we also have today's matchups, which will be the Bulldogs facing off against the Dragons. The Royals will be going up against the Finns, the Tigers will be up against the Lumberjacks, and the Whales will be facing the Tomahawks. Alright everyone, let's hop on board here with the Detroit Dragons, who are currently 0-1, and the Boston Bulldogs, who are currently sitting at 1-0. Coming into week number 3 here, the Bulldogs on the attack early, but Vasilevsky going to make a huge save. Latang up the middle to Line, who rips a shot. Vasilevsky going to deflect that one aside. Jake Gensel also manages to come into the middle, but Vasilevsky really keeping his team in it here early with a few huge stops. And the Detroit Dragons on the counter attack here. Getzlav with a few deeks, walks in, manages to get past the defender, off the post and in. What a shot from Ryan Getzlav. Now the Dragons back on the attack. In the middle to Tavares, who's going to take a shot, but that will be saved. And that is all she wrote for period number one. The Dragons up 1-0 after one. Now getting into the second period here, the Bulldogs running into some penalty trouble, taking several penalties. They managed to kill off the first one, and here is a great chance for the Dragons on a 5-on-4, but the Boston Bulldogs will take yet another penalty, making another 5-on-3, and the Bulldogs doing a great job of killing off those penalties. We got Raquel, manages to get past his guy, comes in, backhand, forehand, he will absolutely bury that one, and more penalty trouble for the Bulldogs here. They can't seem to stay out of the box. Matthews across the blue line in the middle. Rips a shot, but Merzlikens will catch that one in the glove. Off the draw. Letang passes it down to Kaprizov, who's able to walk right in. And he will bank that one off the post and in the net. Now a race to the puck here in the Bulldog zone. Spurgeon gets pinned against the boards. Marner comes in to help his teammate pass out front to Austin Matthews, who's going to have the easy tap in there with just under a minute left in the second, and that will give the Dragons a two-goal lead heading in to period number three. Now in period number three, we got Marner winning a battle there against the boards, walking in, taking a shot, but Merzlikens will save that one as well. The Bulldogs on the counterattack here, a great save by Vasilevsky with the blocker. An empty net here for the Bulldogs. It is three to one with 30 seconds to go. Nylander will come in, steal the puck, and just to add insult to injury, he is really going to tuck that puck in. Good night for the Boston Bulldogs. And that is it for this one. That will be a 4-1 win for the Dragons, who now advance to 1-1, one and, one, and the Bulldogs will advance to 1-1 one one as well. Vasilevsky really stole the show here, having 30 saves and only one goal against. A 968 save percentage, absolutely phenomenal. Hopping on board with the Philadelphia Finns and the LA Royals, both teams 1-0. Which team will come out 2-0 after this one? The LA Royals did upset the Detroit Dragons last week. Let's see if they can find their second win here against the Finns. Early on, McKinnon takes a slap shot from the point, which will be saved by Shesterkin. And then a weak backhander in the slot from Rantanen almost finds its way in the back of the net after a bit of a pop fly. We got some pressure here from the Finns who are not able to capitalize. A pass in the slot will be rifled wide on the one-timer. Zabinijad has the puck, though, gets it to Kuznetsov, who manages to crash the net, but is not able to find the back of it. Dalin gets a pass in the middle and rips one glove side, which will beat Igor and put the LA Royals up 1-0. Back on the attack here, another weak backhander almost finds its way into the net. The rebound there as well just didn't go but man, was it ever close. Rantanen takes a shot. Once again, blockered up high by Shesterkin. I'm not sure why this is consistently happening, but it's three times in the first period now. We have a penalty coming here for the Philadelphia Finns, who have a bit of penalty trouble. A five on three for the Royals. And on that five on three, McKinnon walks in, takes a shot, tries to get his own rebound, but is not able to get control of it, then passes it in front for a howitzer that is just wide of the net. They would keep up the pressure here though. Rantanen walks out and manages to beat Igor on the blocker side there. Finally, we did not see a pop fly on the right side of Shesterkin. 2-0 after 1 for the LA Royals. 
in the second period now. Another pass in the middle will be saved by Igor. The Finns back the other way. A great pass down low and crashing the net is JVR who will tuck it in past the LA Royals netminder to make it 2-1 and cut that lead in half. Two minutes to go in the second period. Back on the attack here is the Royals. A great saucer pass over to Butcher who takes a shot, goes off the post, middle stat in front of the net will pick up the rebound and he will give the Royals that two goal lead once more here heading into period number three. And early on in period number three, Jimmy Superstar walking in, does a little deke, manages to crash the net there, but Igor will shut him down. Right off the draw, the Finns on a power play now. Kachuk walks out, and he is going to bury that blocker side and have a little how you doing to the goaltender during his celebration. Connor Brown passes across to Yanni Gord, who is going to once again fire one blocker side and give the Royals a two-goal lead once more. Donskoy is able to waltz out from behind the net. He will let a backhand go and tuck it in. The Royals are absolutely on fire. They are loving it. So is the crowd. Carlson gets it up the middle to James Van Riemsdyk. Comes in, does a toe drag, and he will put this puck top shelf where the cookies are not hidden. Because who really does that anymore? I mean, maybe some people still do, actually, so... Yeah, but anyway, he did put a top shelf regardless. McKinnon walks in, gets a pass to Dullin in the middle, who's all alone, takes a shot, but that will not go. McKinnon back again now on the attack. Does a toe drag, takes a shot, picks up his own rebound, and he will bury that to give the Royals a three-goal lead. It is now 6-3 to three with three minutes remaining. Little battle there in front of the net, but nothing much came of it, and a slap shot from the point will go off his own team's back, a huge 6-3 win for the Royals, who are now 2-0. This was certainly not the strongest showing from either goaltender here, but 44 shots from the LA Royals. They absolutely dominated in that department. Both of these teams are looking for their very first win. I mean, they've only played one game each, but they're both looking for it, and only one team is going to be able to find it. We got the Vancouver Lumberjacks and the Newfoundland Tigers here. Slavin manages to pick up the puck in his own end. He rushes all the way down, gets a great shot off, but that will be saved. They do keep up the attack, though. Sebastian Ho backpedals, rips one, but Leonard will catch that one in the glove. And then Dreisaitl, look at this, walks in, does a fake spin there, and he will bury that top shelf. And only moments later, Patrice Bergeron will get a pass, and he gets drilled, but he also buries the puck to give the Lumberjacks a 2-0 lead less than five minutes into this one. Leonard lets out a pass there, which was pretty risky, but... Luckily for him, the Lumberjacks were able to get possession. And then here, the Tigers rip one off the post. They almost cut that lead in half, but just couldn't do it. But then they do manage to get that first goal. Phil Kessel will be on the back door, and he will tuck that one in. Robin Leonard going to make a glove save up high there. And that will do it for period number one, where we have ourselves a 2-1 to one lead for the Lumberjacks. Off the draw here, a pass across is picked off by Huberto, who comes in on a breakaway, pulls off... One of the largest ball sack moves I've ever seen in my life stops and lets the defenders whoosh past him and he still buries it. What a save by Robin Leonard here on that play in front of the net. We get a slow-mo replay. Sebastian Ho has a wide open net and he will not be able to get that one past Leonard who is sprawled out along the ice. What a play. And then we have Alec Martinez walking in, takes a shot and crashes the net, manages to find the back of it. A lead pass here to Stone who stops up, tries to pull a Jonathan Huberdeau, but he is simply no Johnny Hockey. Yeah, that's right. Sorry, Johnny Goodrow, but I think Jonathan Huberdeau has just officially earned that title. Barkov does a sick D, goes for a pass across. That puck will not make it on net. They are keeping up a lot of pressure here, however. Still not able to get it to go. Slavin laid a massive hit there. Hopefully he's all right. We have a 3-2 lead for the Lumberjacks heading in to period number three. And in period number three, we have a draw in the Tiger zone that will be kicked back to Eichel, who passes to Stone, rips one on net, will be kicked aside, but they stay on top of it. Another pass to Stone, who rips one past the goaltender, and just like that, they have a two-goal lead. 
The Tigers slowly running out of time here. They pull their goalie. A shot will go just wide of the empty net, but then McAvoy will beat his man to the puck and bury it. And that will be all she wrote for this one. The Vancouver Lumberjacks advance to 1-1, one and, one, and unfortunately, the Newfoundland Tigers drop to 0-2. Not the start they were looking for, but it's the start that they have earned. One goaltender clearly outplayed the other in this one. Robin Leonard letting in only two goals on 35 shots, whereas Sergei Bobrovsky let in five on just 20. The Whales, who are 1-0, that's my team right there, baby, are going up against the Toronto Tomahawks, who are 0-1. Let's see if they can advance to 2-0 or if they will drop to 1-1. Early on here, Carey Price is going to play absolutely outstanding as a few plays come in from the Whales, but Carey Price is going to shut them all down. Carlson passed down low. Once again, Carey Price gets his mitt on that. Now Hughes, back the other way. Does a deke and lets one rip from the slot that will be kicked aside. A bit of a scary incident here as a player takes a rubber biscuit to the mouth as he is coming onto the ice. But luckily he was all right. 0-0 after one. A pass in front there will be saved once again by Price and so will Larkin's attempt. A slot chance here for the Tomahawks but Hellebuck will save that one on the mini wheat. A bit of a battle in front there. Leads the puck to Zadina, who walks out and is robbed once more by Carey Price. He gets the puck back, goes for a play in the middle, but a great defensive play by Gallagher to break that chance up. Sagan passes it back to Hughes, who manages to find Klingberg. Back to Sagan. Some phenomenal passing here from the Tomahawks, and they were not able to get a shot off, unfortunately. I already know there was like a million fans in the crowd yelling, shoot, but they didn't listen. Larkin. Has it in the middle, takes a shot, has a chance for a rebound there, but the Tomahawks will once again block that. Now Barzal is sprung on a breakaway here. He goes backhand, forehand, absolutely undressing the Tomahawks netminder, tucks that top cheddar, and a sick celebration to boot. Now Bertuzzi coming in, two on one here, takes a shot that will be saved on the blocker by Carey Price. And thanks to Barzal, the Whales have a 1-0 lead heading in to the third and final period. The crowd ready to go here for this one. We have 16 minutes in the third period. A couple deeks there and a shot on net, but not able to find the back of it. Toffoli gets a pass in the middle and another great save by Hellebuck. Hurdle wins a battle down low, passes it in front and another series of great saves by Carey Price. Toffoli has a battle in front. He keeps at it though and he takes a great shot that will be saved by Hellebuck. They manage to have this attack continue, though, and Toffoli will bury the rebound in the slot to tie this game up with four minutes to go. But back the other way, a tremendous pass over to Matthew Barzell, who's going to get his second of the night under a minute to go and put the Whales up by one. That will be the final score for this one, two to one. Great performance by Matthew Barzell, getting both goals and being a instrumental part in the Wales victory over the Tomahawks. Dylan Larkin also playing a very important role, assisting both of Barzell's goals, and Carey Price is the only reason this didn't get uglier here, making 31 stops on 33 shots. Looking at the updated standings here, the Wales and the Royals are the only two undefeated teams after two games here, and the Tigers and the Tomahawks will both be searching for their first win next week.